Yeah. So yeah, the plot as itself, it pretty much already sells it. Okay? The plot as itself is alright. You know, and the plot as itself can already get people inside the cinema. Guys who are stuck in a lift and they don't know what's happening and why they are in the lift and there is something and a reason why these people are in a lift. Already like that, you and you cut a good trailer, it would already interest people. And I think, because I just think that, you know, like, again, I mean, you know, that was one of the bad things, like, you know, you know, it was lacking in subtlety, you know, which makes for great horror when you see stuff like, you know, Exorcist and stuff like Omen, you know. Um, because, I mean, like, I mean, for me, like, one of the main things is that basically, you know, you had, like, the, again, you know, and I think even the guy even said it on a forum, it was like, you know, you have the Latino, um, yeah, like, as you also called, on the first, on the first showing board, you have, like, the Latino guy who's obviously spouting off this religious stuff, of, like, you know, the devil, when the devil comes, he does his thing, you know, and I mean, he basically has, like, his golden um, um, crucifix basically out, you know, and, and fully in the open, and it's like, oh my gosh, when the devil comes, so basically, I mean, it was too much, like, oh, devil, 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 oh, he's so bad when the devil comes, and I think, really, that just, you know, even, there were even times as well, I was, I, was, I was just laughing, just by how much they were just basically just promoting this whole devil, devil, devil stuff. Like, you know, man, like, guys, man, come on, man. Just, you need to just be a little bit subtle, man. You need to just be a little bit subtle, you know, because I was just, just really driving it a bit too much home. You know, it was a bit too obvious. And I think that's probably one of the, the weak points about it, you know, because really, man, you know, you look, the performances by the people there, I mean, um, I think, what's it called? I think the, 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 the guard, which was obviously Bob, Bo, Bo Kim, I think, something like that, you know, um, he was obviously in, um, he was in um, Ray, and um, he was good, he was really good, and I think really, and he really, the, the, the best pe characters really there were really, um, obviously the old lady, yeah, she did what she did, but really, really was the Bo Kim guy, and the guy who was busy selling mattresses, you know, because, you know, he was like, you know, you were thinking, man, who is this guy, you know, I mean, the woman, yeah, she was alright, you know, and the white guy, obviously, was just, you know, he was, I mean, he was, you know, he, he was alright, he was alright, no, he wasn't great, but he was just, just alright, you know, I mean, but I think really those, those two were really the guys that really stood out, really, you know, per performance-wise. Um, and obviously, again, the guy from Oz, the detective, he was good, you know what I mean, and, and if, you, if, you, if, you, if you watch Oz, you know, the guy is a, is a you know, he's, he, he, he's, he's a good actor, man, he's a good actor. Um, but, um, you know, I just think that... Um, you know, I mean, I recommend it. That's the thing, man. I mean, I would recommend it because I mean, it's not amazing. There are things in there which you've seen it before. You've seen the whole oh, oh, what the hell? You know, the really big booming sound. You know, the really big booming sound sound effect. I mean, you've seen the stuff before. You know, um, you know the very quick flashes here and there. You know, um, you've seen the stuff before. You know, there's there's nothing here that you haven't already seen before. You know, um, but it's worth just if you've got nothing to do you want something to watch that's going to be worth your time yeah man give it a watch give it a watch that's the thing i mean give it a watch i mean i tell you man, it's like because i've been working on this video i mean it was it was almost the same thing as daybreakers for me like daybreakers I, I will say guys man go and watch daybreakers man go and watch daybreakers i mean it's like like yes it's not perfect it's not amazing you know, yes, there are bits which could have been improved and everything like that. You know, obviously, you know, that was about the film, the second half of the film. But, you know, for what is done, it's being original. Watch it. That's like, in today's day and, today's day and age, where some of us are about money, 150 mil for all this rubbish, where guys are really writing a sequel for, for Greenland, they're trying to manufacture heroes, all this kind of rubbish, man. Um... It, there's no reason whatsoever if you truly respect film and you want to support film and you want to support originality why you don't go and support a film like this there's no reason you know, there's no reason why you shouldn't go and support a film like this why you shouldn't go and support a film like Wall Street so yes Oliver Stone is, it was weird for doing that whole Wall Street Center movie that was weird but you know you go and watch the Wall Street so you go and watch that film you know you go and watch um, Mach Machete. You know, you watch those films. I mean, those are the films that, that you watch because these are like original ideas out there. That guys have just originally conceived, you know. Um, 
but um, yeah, man, it's like you, you know, I would really, really just recommend you guys to go and see this because I told you the, the, the plot is good and the um, execution of the tension of you know, these guys who are different and once stuff starts happening, you feel the tension between all of them and you have that claustrophobic feeling of like, man, these guys, they're all within a lift. I mean, I mean, like maybe my only um, sort of um, drawback was that, I mean, they could have really expanded on the characters' backstories. Hence why it could have, it could have um, been better by being a much more philosophical film, much more grander. You know, because if your film is named Devil, you need something more. You can't just be like, Devil. And, oh, devil, where's devil? Devil, say devil, 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 you know, I mean, it needs something more, you know, than just, it's titled devil and about devil, where is he, what's he gonna, what's he gonna do, I mean, come on, guys, come on, you know, but, despite that, man, I tell you, man, um, it's worth a watch, it's worth a watch, it's worth a watch, and I'm interested to see what people think about it, you know, and I tell you, but that's the funny thing. If M Night had, if if this was a film that M Night made, it would be like, wow, man, okay, wow, this guy, he, he's sort of back to form. Yes, it's it's not up to the standard of Sixth Sense or on un, Unbreakable, or even I'd even argue um, Signs, but it is in and around the sort of realm of Signs. For me, I believe like, for me. The conclusion of this and the way the ending ties into what the film's about and the kind of meaning that this film's about, I feel uh, most especially the ending of this was better than, was a lot better than Science. For me, Science, all the way until like the very last 15 minutes, was great. Was complete. I was like, man, this is great. Once you actually saw what it was all about and the ending sucked, and it just pretty much just brought the whole film down, you know. It just just pretty much the whole thing now. But this, I feel that obviously the direction of obviously science was was always a lot better, you know. But as a whole, this is this is this is a better film than science as a whole because science was was let down by its ending, which this wasn't, you know. The ending was handled very well, you know. But I think you know, um, um, really, you know, uh, I mean, I mean, it's it's an alright film. Obviously, look, man. You know, I've got to put, that, put, put this out there, and I mean, they obviously they had the stereotype of okay, yes, the big, big black guy who's all you know tough, aggressive, you know, blah blah, and he's a you know thug, you know, which everybody laughed at in the cinema, which was like, okay, do we really need that stereotype in there? And the whole thing of the la, la, la Latino stereotype. I mean, why does the one Latino guy have to be overtly religious? I mean, all he was spouting was the devil, the devil, 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 with his um crucifix. Come on, do we really need that? It's the year two G. It's the year 2G. Come on, let's get done with those stereotypes. Please, thank you. You know, thank you.